Joker 2 is set to lose a WB somewhere in the range of 200 to 250 million dollars by the time the film it's done its theatrical run which I would assume has to be right around the corner after a record-setting drop for its second weekend so let's talk about what does this mean for WB and the future of well Joker or maybe even a Joker spin-off Okay, so this comes at us from analytics that have been done by multiple outlets. The first one that put theirs out was Variety. And Variety goes into details on just uh, what happened with this film. Specifically, the film's budget of around $200 million and an estimated 100 to $200 million on marketing costs. Now, of course, I think most of you know that this film had a huge budget compared to the first one. The first one, right around $50 million, this one around $200 million. The reason this happened was, of course, because Todd Phillips delivered a billion-dollar film with the first one and, well, defied all expectations. So, naturally, they increased the budget, but you wouldn't know it if you watched the film because there's less going on than there was in the first film for whatever reason. I don't know. Whatever the case is, this is all analyzed in terms of how much was spent and how much they could get back. And what we see right now is that the film is on its way to lose anywhere between 200 to 250 million dollars. And it needs to break 250 just to break even. So what we're getting here is essentially a there is no way that this thing is going to hit the mark. There's just no way. And um, if you realistically look at what's going on, I think that this film subtly, well, not so subtly in some cases, sets up multiple sequels that I think they wanted. You know, we know WB wanted more villain films. We know that at one point they ordered a Two-Face script. Two-Face origin is in this. We know that a Harley Quinn was going to happen with Margot, like a standalone one, but... That seems to have gone away, probably in favor of the Lady Gaga one that was rumored to happen after this. I don't think either of those happen now, quite obviously. And, um, you know, good for us. Good for us, the fans, because the last thing I wanted to see was my favorite DC Batman villain, Two-Face, get botched some more. So, uh, yeah, I think this is all she wrote for the Joker franchise, and um, good riddance. Well, everybody, thank you for watching that video. And as always, you can like, subscribe, share, do whatever you will. Check out the recommended video that's popped up somewhere on the screen. And also, if you would like additional content, including more discussions and more unfiltered content, check out what we offer to the member section, which has new videos going up all the time.